So in this video we are going to learn about uh, how to write an equation for the existing graph uh, particularly the trigonometric equation which will be in sine or cosine. So from this graph uh, it was given a graph here so from this graph we need to write an equation and from the equation we need to establish what is the value of amplitude, uh, period or uh, vertical shift or phase shift. Now, in general, equations are two types. So, they will be like uh, either y is equal to a cos bx minus c plus d or they will be y is equal to a sin bx minus c plus d. So, we can write any equation like we can write, uh, we can represent the graph in any one of those equations. We can write an equation in terms of time, sine or we can write equations in terms of cos it's completely up to us right now first if you want to write the equation we need to know the values of a b c d here okay a means amplitude uh, b is found out from period d is vertical shift and c is phase shift c is phase shift now see uh, vertical shift is nothing but the average of maximum value and minimum value of a graph function now for example if you observe closely here here the maximum value of graph is at this point at the maximum value the function value is 6 because on y axis we have function okay so at the maximum value we have the function value as 6 and the minimum value of this graph is at 2 at 2 okay so the minimum value of the function is 2 now to find D we have the formula okay so vertical phase shift D is given by maximum value of f of x plus minimum value of f of x divided by 2 maximum value plus minimum value divided by 2 so we will get the vertical shift value so from this graph we can find the vertical shift value as d is equal to the maximum value 6 and the minimum value is 2 by 2 so 8 by 2 that is equal to 4 so we got the d value as 4 right okay similarly we will find all a, a b c d values and amplitude a is given by the formula maximum value of function minus minimum value of function divided by 2 amplitude is nothing but the difference of two values by 2 Whereas a phase shift, vertical shift is given by the sum of two values by two. Maximum value plus minimum value by two will get D and the maximum value of the function minus minimum value of the function by two will get A. Now here the maximum value is six and the minimum value is two. Six minus two by two, that means four by two, that is equal to two. So maximum value is uh, six minus minimum value is two, six minus two, four by two, that is two. So in this way we found out A value and D value. Now <coughs> we need to find the uh, value of C where, where C is known as vertical shift, uh, phase shift. Now to find C we have to select uh, which type of equation we want to write. We can write an equation in terms of sine or we can write an equation in terms of cos for both uh, for a single graph. So for a single graph we can write the equation of the graph in terms of sine or we can write the equation of the graph in terms of cos it's completely up to us now here C means phase shift that means uh, how much uh, the graph is shifted from its starting point or from its original point how much the graph is shifted now let me mention you let me mention you the uh, uh, two types of graphs we have in general a cos function starts from maximum value and it will become zero and it will become negative and then again it starts from negative to it will become zero like that 
whereas a sine function starts from zero value it reaches maximum value and it'll become zero it'll become again uh, minus value l then become zero like that so sine function always starts from zero whereas cos function starts from maximum value whereas sine sine function starts from a value which is nothing but average of maximum and minimum sine function starts from sine function starts from average of maximum and minimum or middle value middle value which is at the moment average of maximum and minimum whereas cos function starts from cosine function starts from zero maximum value Cos cosine function starts from maximum value now if I want to represent this graph in terms of cos, I need to select the maximum value of this graph. And I know clearly that maximum value of this graph is at 6, is at 6 point, point here, okay, this point. And this point is at a distance of 1 unit from the axis, distance of 1 unit from the axis. Now the negative of that value is c the negative of that value is c now here c is minus 1 for cosine graph for cosine graph and if we want to write the equation for sine graph we need to uh, check where the sine graph is starting here that means we, uh, sine graph always start from mid value and here sine graph is being started from the mid value here because 6 is highest value and 2 is middle value so the mid value will be 4 the mid value will be 4 6 plus 2 8 by 2 4 and 4 is at a distance of negative 2 from axis so then c will be negative of negative 2 2 for sine graph for sine graph okay so the most important things here in this uh, graphs are finding c value that means phase shift so it depends upon the maximum value and middle value if you want to write the equation in terms of cos you need to find c value looking at the maximum point here the maximum point if you look at closely If you look closely here, here the graph is maximum at this point. So this is the maximum point and this is where cos function should start. So but it is at a distance of one unit from the axis and negative of this value is nothing but c. So that's when you have to use right. You have to write the equation in terms of cos. And if you look at the sine graph, we know that sine graph always starts from mid value. Sine neither starts from maximum value. Sine neither starts from minimum value. It always starts from mid value because it is not. It, it will not start here. It will not neither start here. It starts from mid value. And mid value here for six and two. Minimum value is two and maximum value is six. Mid value will be 6 plus 2, 8 by 2, that will be 4. And that 4, that is the point where sine graph should start. And that 4 is at a distance of negative 2 from axis. And negative of negative 2 is positive 2. And that is what the way we have to find C value for sine graph. Okay. So... Both are correct. Both will give the same answer. Now, let me write equation for these two, uh, this graph in both this cos and sine. So here, we know the standard form is y is equal to a cos b x minus c plus d, and uh, 
last thing we need to find period uh, period is given by 2 pi by b for both sine and cos now we got uh, uh, we know the value of period period is nothing but the range after which the graph continues or it repeats okay the value or the distance after which the graph continues to repeat again okay the graph continues to cycle again after certain distance and that certain length is known as period when we plot a graph the graph I mean we know that sine graph and cos graph are repeating continuously after certain point and that certain distance or the certain length of graph where graphs again start repeating so that value is known as that distance or that length is known as period if you look at closely here the graph starts from here and it is repeating again up to here so this length is known as period So here the initial value is 1 and here the value is 13. So 13 minus 1, 12. 12 is a period. Period is nothing but the distance between two maximum values. Period is nothing but the distance between two maximum values or two minimum values, whatever it may be. So even you can do that. So here the minimum value is at minus 5 and minimum value is at 7. So this 7 plus that 5 will give you 12. So the total length after which graph repeats. So period is given as 12. So 12 is equal to 2 pi by b. So b is equal to 2 pi by 12. That means pi by 6. Now that we got all values a, b, c, d. So I can write the equation in terms of cos. We got a value, b value, c value, d value. So a value is 2. So y is equal to a value is 2 cos b value is pi by 6 into x minus c value for cos equation for cos graph c value is minus 1 uh, right if you want to take uh, here uh, the important thing is if you want to take c as minus 1 because here already minus is included so we, we no need to take the minus value we can directly write as x minus 1 and this holds good when we write the equation as x plus c okay so here no need to take okay so c is 1 directly and c is minus 2 for sine graph okay so when it is on positive x axis we will take it as plus 1 and when it is as negative y axis, we'll take it as minus 2. And I told you the c value is negative of uh, the value here, but that is used when the equation is in plus. But here we are writing the equation in terms of minus, so no need to put again minus. So c value is minus 1 plus d. d value we got as 4. d value we got as 4. So this is the equation. 2 cos pi by 6 into x minus 1 plus 4. Now we can write the equation same for the same graph in terms of sine. So we got the formula y is equal to a sine b into x minus c plus d. Uh, a value will not change. Sine b value will not change into x minus c value is going to change. And c value we got here is minus 2 for sine graph c value we got here is minus 2 for sine graph because it is on the negative x axis so that will become plus 2 minus of minus plus d value is same so that will become 2 sine 5 by 6 into x plus 2 plus 4 now for the same graph we given we have given two equations both are correct okay and if you want to check here we can check here both are correct so the first equation we got is uh, 2 cos pi by 6 into x minus 1 plus 4 and uh, 2 cos pi by 6 into x minus 1 plus 4 the graph is here and I will generate one more uh, 
equation so that is 2 sin x plus 2 5 by 6. So, both are same because there is no other graph here. Okay, even though if you erase this cast graph, x minus two. Both graphs are same. Okay. Now, even though if you plot cos graph, 2 cos pi by 6 times x minus 1 plus 4. So, both graphs are overlapped. That means for a single graph, we have we can develop two equations. One is in terms of cos, and one is in terms of sine. So both are correct. The only thing which changes is the phase value, phase shift value c. And for cos graph, we need to know we need to know the maximum value and the distance between axis and the maximum value. The start the point where it is maximum. It is known as c when you don't when you want to write it in terms of cos. And the distance between the axis and the middle value where the graph will start and that is c value when you want to write equation in terms of sign that's it and this is how you will write uh, equation for a graph okay that's it